Someone in the comments too said, yes, you don't have to pay, you know, a little bit higher taxes. That's great. But you're then be paying a whole lot more in insurance when you inevitably have to go into the hospital or have something done. Yeah, you'll save a little bit in taxes and get destroyed by those costs when you're in the hospital. So have an open mind, fellow Americans. Um, we could get it in our own, own fashion. Here we go. Americans need to realize that free healthcare doesn't mean communism. That, yeah, I mean, that that is true. We are very uh, stubborn with the with this fact, with this point. So, uh, yeah, it is amusing. I am learning. These videos are helping me. But yeah, America needs to realize that free healthcare doesn't mean communism. Hello, and welcome back. Today, I'm going to be jumping into another healthcare type video. This video is called, What Do Americans Think of Socialized Medicine? This is a huge topic right now. This has been very interesting to me because you know, growing up as an American, no such thing as universal healthcare. Uh, my, my parents never had it. My grandparents never had it. It's never been a thing uh, really. And um, no successful attempts it seems like here in the US. And if, if it did, it would be blown way out of proportion with costs. But this topic is so massively different compared to anywhere else in the developed world it seems like. The U.S., very different from, especially so many comments from Europe, and I'll hear about you know, Australia and New Zealand and other places around the world as well. Just so very different, and everyone's stories, which I love, you know, like people, it's the NHS, for example, saved many people's lives in just me reading the comments and kind of getting in discussion, just kind of stories and like, wow, I was, I was in the hospital in and out for four years and they did a heart surgery. And I hear that it's, you know, 40 pounds, 40 euros, whatever it is, it's just dirt cheap, it's free sometimes. So that's just so different from how I grew up and, and just the mindset because we don't have it here. We're kind of on our own little universe over here in, in the world, as we all know. So let's let's see other people's opinion let's chat about it i like hearing your honest opinions about it and here here we go hold on hold on this will be a wild ride more opinions than just my own just talking to americans about socialized medicine <laughs> What do you think about socialized health care? I do not like the idea of that. I don't want the government picking what I can and cannot do. Well, my husband's from oh, Europe, boy. so I think it's pretty good, actually. I think a lot of people are covered by it. Everybody's covered. They don't have to worry about paying for it. It's definitely more accessible for everybody. It allows all of us to remain healthy, to live long lives as much as we can. I think it's kind of a necessity that the government provides health care for its citizens. This is one huge difference. I, I believe you'll continue to see the younger generations, my generation, et cetera, is going to be much more open to it, much more maybe knowledgeable about it compared to the, I don't want to say, I don't know, stubbornness, I guess, of um, perhaps older generations just from how they grew up and just, you know, how, how, why, whatever reason it is, um, it just seems like generally the younger generations are more for it and you know like like what the, the previous few said so let me know what you think about that if everybody has something for free who's going to pay for it okay what if people pay for it by taxes what do you think of that well that's going to increase you like to pay taxes and someone in the comments too said Yes, you don't have to pay, you know, a little bit higher taxes. That's great. But you're then be paying a whole lot more in insurance when you inevitably have to go into the hospital or have something done. Yeah, you'll save a little bit in taxes and get destroyed by those costs when you're in the hospital. So have an open mind, fellow Americans. Um, we could get it in our own own fashion. So first of all, let me ask you, do you know what the NHS is? 
Mm. No one's going to in the U.S. I mean, hardly anyone. I didn't know. I had never heard of it until a couple months ago until I started doing videos on it and just joining you guys in discussion. No. <laughs> they regulate and provide national health services for the U.K. What do you think the average copay is under, under the NHS? I can't imagine it goes any lower than 30. The amount for, for me uh, is like $120 to see my uh, family physician. And what, so based on that, what would you guess would be the price there? Similar? Probably, I would say probably higher. Ooh. She's in a whole nother universe. I don't know. I don't know. It's an extreme. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually, there isn't a copay. So it's zero dollars. Do you know if you get health care if you're not a citizen, do you think, in under the NHS? Um, isn't there certain protections, but not all of them? Uh, you actually do get health care if you're not a citizen. What about if you're homeless? Yes. Correct. What about specialized costs like or specialized care, like an inhaler or an EpiPen? In the UK, for an inhaler or prescriptions, um, and I'm just guessing, at the most, $20? I'm guessing UK doesn't pay anything, which really sucks because we pay a lot. A yeah. lot. That's I true. would say... It's probably higher. Mm, considering what it costs here, I'm gonna ballpark that at also another 25-ish. Okay, it's it's actually nine pounds Just nine. Um, okay. for any medication, which is about twelve dollars. Okay, okay, so they are cheaper. So they are cheaper. What do you, what do you think of that? Um, I am still for individual in, um, medical care. It's, it's the uh, stubbornness. It's the uh, not wanting to believe that you're wrong. No one wants to be wrong. Um, and they, I feel like most people, you know, they grow up not knowing the other side of things. And it's just uncomfortable for them to know, hey, maybe it's not great here. How can that be? You know, you know. So have you ever avoided seeking health care or treatment or medication or any sort of health service because of the cost and you're worried about having to pay some sort of fee? Yes, I have experienced yeah. that a lot with patients that come in with pneumonia but have been at home for a matter of five days and came in when it got worse and had to be admitted to the hospital and we're like, why didn't you come in sooner? Well, I couldn't afford this bill so I was trying to take care of myself at home first. Even just at school, I know people who, let's say, don't have the student health insurance plan won't go get, let's say, like contraception or things like that because they don't really want to pay for it out of pocket. I found out later that I had sprained my ACL. I couldn't move, but I also didn't want to call an ambulance because I couldn't afford it. So what'd you do? Um, I got on my friend's back. But my sister, she has like a lot of allergies, so yep. like instead of like using the ambulance for her like anaphylactic allergies, we have to drive her, which is very scary because you know you don't know about like traffic or anything. You don't have the same privileges as. You'll definitely hear about these things. Uh, you get hurt, you're gonna drive yourself. You're not going to call the ambulance uh, for the most part, especially if you're young. You'll grab a friend. I knew one instance that happened kind of recently within the past year is someone that. I know that called Uber to go to the hospital instead. Called Uber, they're really out of it, got to the hospital and was in the hospital for a couple of days, but they Ubered there. And you know, it's gonna be way cheaper, you know, 20 bucks instead of whatever it is, a thousand, two, whatever it is to get in a uh, ambulance here. As an ambulance on the road. Have you ever um, not sought treatment because you're afraid of a cost? No, ma'am. Do you know anyone who has? No, ma'am. What about people? She does. She's lying. That's uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Who are afraid of the cost of, say, an ambulance? OK, that happens all the time because we have so many Americans that don't want to go in debt and they're trying to save money and they think they can go buy a car instead of an ambulance. Uh, so there what you would go. you think if that service was free? If that service was free, um, anything that's free, sometimes it's not worth having.
77 percent of people in Britain support the NHS and are happy with it. Would you say that you are happy with the United States healthcare system? No. Definitely not. <laughs> no, and I'm actually pretty lucky because I work for the university, so my insurance is pretty good, and even then I'm not happy with it. Mm -hmm. That's a loaded question. Um, I have insurance, and it's good insurance through my husband's company, but we, we pay through the nose for it. Uh, if it were free, I would love that. And if we only paid three fifty a month, that would be a huge deal. I don't believe that our that shows a lot right there too. If we would get a huge deal if you only only paid three hundred fifty dollars a month, so that 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 says a lot there. Um, yeah, even when you do have good health insurance here, when we consider it good, you still like I had pretty decent health insurance in my previous job through them, and I still had to pay twenty bucks copay just to see you know, my doctor, just, just anyone, you know, it's like the minimum, like, oh, cool. I only pay 20 bucks. That sounds fantastic. And that is a good deal here. Our government should be responsible for providing all of us health care. I think the individuals need to be responsible. They need to have a job. They need to look for jobs that provide benefits. There's so many people, especially people from sort of like lower socioeconomic backgrounds who can't get the, the health care that they need because they just can't afford it. The premiums are still pretty high. They're not unreasonable, but they're still pretty high. Um, the medicine I have to pay for is not covered that much, and it's not even anything crazy. It's literally allergy medicine. And I still have to pay a fair amount every month for just allergies. People are more than numbers, and they're more than, you know, the change that you make from, yeah, stiffing people out of their health care. So this is a prime example of what I was talking about of old school way of thinking and new way of, of thinking. Yes, of course, you know, older generation can think, um, are open to it as well, but it's a lot more uh, stiff and contested, um, in my opinion, between the, the differences in, in generation. Definitely, you know, the, the older generations here too are much more, you know, pick yourself up by the bootstraps, get it done yourself. You know, if you want a thing, you have to grind away for it. You have to do it. You have to accomplish it yourself. Whereas now it's more, that, that notion is more relaxed. Yes, definitely still, you know, very competitive, um, but it's, it's, it's definitely improving. Let me know what you think about this, uh, your experiences, even with the NHS or, or the crazy stories when you come over here and get hurt really bad. Uh, I was saying in the previous video, definitely don't get hurt in the US. Um, and I found out there is coverage when you go abroad for health insurance. And it seems like, you know, people have been getting that coming to the US because you don't want to take an ambulance and pay $3,000. So, and perhaps I was wrong with certain things I said, please, please uh, expand upon it. I want to know. So thanks for watching and have a good rest of your day.